Hi, you all. This is the Jansen family. And I know they're going with the eyes. Wow. Papi Abu, I'll be a small boy, Papi Abu. Okay. Hi, everyone. This is Kelly Jansen and Gianni Jansen. We're here starting our family love affair vlog. Welcome, everyone. This is Kelly Jansen. I'm here with my beautiful wife, Gianni Jansen. And we're about to start a beautiful journey together. And I'm going to let her introduce this. It will be fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. doesn't even know. <laughs> wow. I, I guess was, I'm the one in love. Sh sh shut up. It's uh, not true. Okay. And you know that, okay? <laughs> okay. If, if something hey, hey, happened... And, no, TV. listen. <laughs> okay. If something happened and we have to sacrifice, who's going to sacrifice first? Me or you? Uh, of course No, you. no, be on... Okay, thank you. 2010. 2010. Okay, so 2010, uh, my mom went to a doctor and it happens that Kenley went to the same doctor... Uh, mm -hmm. And then my mom parked his, her car, and Kenley parked her car. We parked next to each other, mm -hmm. coincidence. And um, my mom was a bodybuilder, and my mom got out of the car, and then Kenley got out of the car, and then you guys start talking, and then I yeah, was Yeah, because she was sitting. a huge fan of mine, so it's, it's funny how it goes. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, um, when I first met her and saw her, when I first saw her, my eye instantly caught on her and you just feel something, like something that I never felt before with any woman that I met in my life. And it's just, it's, it's connected, you know, it's connected. And um, what happened is her mom was a huge fan of mine and then she started talking, um, you know, baseball and started giving me recommendations about watch out about a woman and this and that, and that kind of like shied me away a little bit because I was kind of like wanted to like you know put some game on and you know try to. <laughs> but catch you did her ask her day, to meet me. I, I did, I did, I did want to just just to just feel your hands, see how soft and you know <laughs> it is, and it was it was beautiful. It was a beautiful day, but it didn't happen. So actually, I was playing an airsoft game. And yeah. you know, like a flower, I forgot the name, Bringamosa in Pagmento, uh -huh. cause it was all in yeah. my hands. And I rushed to the doctor because I started itching. And you know, yeah. that took me to that doctor's office and I saw you with your foot on that dashboard. And yes. That was it. <laughs> that was it. And I was laying, I was having my yeah. foot on the dashboard. I was doing track and field, so uh, I was like a tomboy ish. So um, <laughs> I was laying like whatever, <laughs> and then we get to know each other. Yeah. And then after that, I think after that was, was it. You went home, right? Yeah, I went home, and I remember I was sitting and wondering. And one of my friends told me, "If you want to get to her, I know where they live. So let's go." But then I got so nervous and I shy. You know, I didn't go there. So. I think it was 2012 I saw you one more time. Yeah, so we saw each other. And then, yeah. I had my own magazine yeah, and I did an interview. Had, yeah. So I wanted to interview him. Um, oh my God. Yeah, that's and I sent him an email with all the questions. And he replied polite and nicely back and said, yes, um, I am going to reply. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to fill all your questions questions. I said, okay, great. I was excited. And then he never replied anymore. So I emailed again and then he didn't put anything. So I told my mom, I said, mom, I'm not going to put Kenley in my magazine because he never replied. And my mom yeah. is like, you cannot leave Kenley, Kenley, Kenley out of this. You have to at least Google something and put it. And I said, no, wait, I'm the owner of my own magazine. And if he doesn't reply, oh, I'm not going to. 
magazine. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, keep going. <laughs> and that I'm not going to put Kinley in my magazine. So I didn't, which I, I organized a press conference and he was there. When I arrived, you remember? Yeah, I remember that. I think that was a 2013 press conference for Bam Bam, I believe. Yeah. Yes. For the baseball clinic in Curacao. Yes. And Hansley Merlins, I think, so just told me, like, hey, meet Gianni. Yes. And, and then he said, hey, like, this we met, is like, Kelly. Like, a thousand times we met. Like, yeah. Everybody's like, hey, meet, G meet you, meet you, meet yes. you. So how many times do you think we, we met? Uh-huh. Um, and uh-huh. Um, and uh-huh. Um, in total, it was four times. Four times, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and then it didn't happen again that day. Yeah. So to move, fast forward the story. Uh, I remember 2013, I went. Noche Buena. Yeah, Noche Buena to an event that is so popular in Curacao. <laughs> and I remember I had to use the restroom. And me and my friend um, was there walking and I saw her again, and my friend is like, oh, come on, let me introduce you to her. To her. Thank God, I have to say, you know, a couple of drinks <laughs> got me going, and that day was history. So then that day is funny because I talked to her, she helped me to go use the restroom in the VIP. I wasn't in the VIP, I was just chilling, just in the general, yes. where everybody was, <laughs> and enjoying life. Yeah. And I used that restroom. <clears throat> And then I tried to go talk to her, but she wasn't there. She left. So yes, I left now again. Now that I know that she left. So yes. then I got a message on Facebook that she told me, you know, Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, because it was a day Spanish. before Christmas. Still today, I'm wondering <laughs> why you tell me, why you talk to me in Spanish that day. So I want you to tell everyone why. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think it sounds more sexy. Spanish yeah. is a beautiful language, yeah. so it's it, it sounds interesting. That's great. I think that handshake make you you know change language probably. So yeah. then fast forward, I still didn't make no moves yet, <laughs> and I let it go. Yes. To the March two thousand fourteen. Um, I remember carnival. My brother yes. saw you in the carnival Again. with your brother. Uh, Walking on the street, yes. And yes. that day I talked to my brother and I'm like, you know what? I think it's enough. Let me just yes. talk to her. Because carnival, I, I never went into carnival itself, but my brother is a DJ and he said, let's go with me so you can experience and see how it goes. And then he said, when we got into Rodoback, which is like a famous street from the carnival with mm. everybody there is like the, you know, the big thing. So I got out because he said he's going, he needs to go and perform and all that. So I got out and I was walking. And then that's when um, Kinley's brother, Artley, saw me and texted Kinley and said, um, this girl, yeah. she's cute. Yeah, I guess. She's cute, yeah. So we, we just have our <laughs> brother conversation, you know. So yeah, um, yeah. That's after how that, it yeah, that's how it started. After that, you start texting me. He started texting me, and we were start talking, and we talk as a friend. And it's, the um, it's so nice the way he was but talking. Before, before we go there, you know, I don't want to cut you. Yeah. She changed myself a little bit because I was so cheap, you know, like just use prepaid phone. And oh yeah! I remember didn't have internet on my phone. I just used prepaid, and she told me that hey, you gotta get WhatsApp to talk. Yeah, so. but no, wait, because before I said that, you said so. I told you while we were talking, we start sending um, a lot of songs to each other. That was our connection. Yeah. yeah. That we start yeah. every, like for example, Sunday we send gospel songs to each other, and then another time reggae, another time R&B, soul, and Most then we start, time yeah. yes, and then we start connected, and then we start sending cute love music to each other, yeah. and and then one day, um, it was during spring training, you started yeah, already, was, yeah, but and my to mom, Australia, a week before I was yes. in Australia, yeah. and my mom see him. So, and he have this particular pitching, right? Where he's like all on top of the moon. 
So I said, hey, I can imitate your pitching. You have this particular way of pitching that I can do exactly like you. And then he's like, wow, okay, well, you have three options now because we've been talking with each other for so long. Um, so you have three options. Either you stay talking to me right now like this or you give me your phone or you're coming to see me. And I said, wow, you are a great closer in, in life too. Yeah. You remember that? I remember that. And, and you give then, me your phone number. And I gave you my phone number and yeah. said, you need WhatsApp. Yeah, I knew what's that. So because, I called my financial yeah. manager. I remember that day immediately. Like, hey, it's yeah. time. I need to have a regular phone. And yes. I got that phone, and that's how we start connected. Yes. And I went to Every Arizona for the season day. starting. Every and day. Then, yeah. We keep talking. And then you ask me everything I like, everything not. And then the day that you wanted me to come to you, you said, um, you want me to come because it's, 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 it's a lot now and for us to connect. And I said, you got to ask my mom. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Because <laughs> On six o'clock, you have to yeah, call. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. And, and, and this, this is so beautiful because I wanted to do it myself because yeah. I feel like, you know, nowadays, you know, we all know how it is. You know, you yeah. met you met a female, and if you take the same approach, you will you will never find out about who that person is. So on this one, I kind of, you know, wanted to just take it in the old school t type of, you know, way, and to just see what I have, and you know, yes. the rest the rest is history. Here she is, like almost ten years. Yes. And we're still going strong, like it's our yes. year year first, right? We will forever be. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I invited her to come in LA, you know, where I used to live then in 1010 um, downtown. Wilshire. Wilshire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she came for 10 days and, you know, I started asking a question about roses, you know, what kind of flowers she loved and stuff like that. Yes. To just feel her out. So I'm going to let you tell that story. Yes. And then he asked me, I said, okay, I love orchid and I love roses and I love lily, but lily is when we get, like, when I get married. I want Lily. Yeah. So then when I arrive, I find a huge bouquet of flower with the orchid and with the roses, exactly what I said. So at that time I said, okay, this man is paying attention because he's asking me. Um, and then I feel like even with songs, it was like whatever I'm feeling during the day, he was sending the correct song to make my day. But what happened with the lilies? The lilies? You didn't put the lilies. There you go. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't. And I, I was waiting for you. You were coming from San Francisco. Yes. From a trip. Yes, indeed. And then when we saw each other, we? Well, when we saw each other, we kissed. Yeah. We, we kissed. Kiss. <laughs> it wasn't this type of kiss, though. So don't lie to the people. It wasn't this type of kiss. You know, it was more, ah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So we went to dinner first. Dinner first, yes, exactly. We went to dinner yeah. first. A little bit a long time ago, but we went to dinner <laughs> first. <laughs> yes. Um, and for me, like I say, I wanted to do like everything different. You yes. know, like for a woman like her, beautiful woman, you know, like a lot of men want to take her to like, especially my status of what I do to a fancy restaurant and stuff like that. And I kind of like know who she kind of is a little bit and to me, I wanted to just, not saying downgrade it, but taking the, the, the other direction, and I took her. And no disrespect, this place is one of my favorite places, but I want to just take her to Roscoe's. I take her to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Yes. A very nice place, you know, like down to earth. Um, and we just went in and eat, yes. eat, eat, eat fried chicken and waffles. We went to eat fried chicken and waffles. And the funny part of part <laughs> is, she went in there and tried to eat fried chicken with a knife. And four, because it's our first, it's our first day. And I day. told her, like, what are you doing? Like, you gotta use the two hands that God gave you and grab that chicken and feel and comfortable eat. and yes. bite it all the way to the bones, right? Yeah, like which which I normally, yeah, which, which I eat. Did. Yes, that's how I eat normally. But it was my first date, and then you don't want to do. I mean, mostly yeah. women don't do that. So, yeah. but it was really nice that you were like that because then you opened me up and it was like, okay, ah, 
I can be free. I can do just be me and then do just eat the way I want. So, yeah. and that was great too. And then, um, hey, 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 okay, hey. okay. You know, uh, there was something also that was really great. Um, during those days, we mm -hmm. went to the Santa Monica Pier. Yes. And I, uh, I was working as a marketing manager in a uh, real estate magazine. And I had my own magazine too, Lifestyle. So I always had like casual business attire, always. Look, yes. And I always uh, I were wearing... Yeah, I always, I was always wearing high heels uh, because that's all I was doing. That's mm -hmm. that's how I look and that's my work. And so I arrived here and then I traveled like that. And then we went to Santa Monica and we needed to go on the pier. He went to show me there. So then he said, when we were walking, he said, you know what? Let's go. And he took me to a sneaker store. You can finish that one. Yeah, so she always wearing heels. And the funny thing is, it's like, you know what? Let me just try her to see her because I know, you know, she's very detailed on her dress, sexy. I love that look. But then I wanted to just, like I say, do something else that probably no one else wanted to do. And, you know, I just challenged myself. Like, all right, just, you know, put it in a smooth way. I'm like, hey, you know, I know you, your feet must be hurting and, you know, I wanted to save you a little bit. So then it was a <laughs> Michael Kors store right there. When I yes. told you, and we walked in, and I bought her a Michael Kors sneaker. And I told her, like, listen, yeah. when you're gonna go to places like this with me, you're gonna walk in regular tennis shoes, you know? And she did it, and yes. till and today, till today. she loved it. She loved yes, it. Yes, I love it, and then now I have three kids, so I actually love to wear the sneakers more. And that was our first beautiful dinner Yes, we went with each other to Boa Steakhouse in San yes, Diego. You yes, yes. I still love that picture. Yes, that we, took. I, we took a picture. It's a super. beautiful picture. Yes. We took a nice picture there. And then that's, that was our beautiful picture that we took on Santa Monica Pier too. Yes. We have it till today. So. Oh, yes. We have it till today. Yeah. So, yeah, we purchased our house here. Yes. Uh, after the World Series in 2017. Mm -hmm. And here we are till today. We're raising three kids. In this house. In this house. We had two more kids. Yeah. You got two more kids after that. There. Yes. Yeah. So. Is there more? Is this more? Is there more coming? You tell me. <laughs> Do we have another one coming? <laughs> I think we good. I think we done. You sure? Yes. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Misa. <laughs> With Gianni, a lot of people was asking about how we first met yeah. and till and when we're the, here. So that's a little part of our story. We have so much more to tell short. you guys, but we just try to make it, you know, great, but you will find out more about us. I think by you all following our journey here and our vlogs, you will get to meet us and then know more about us and then we can tell you more and more about our story, love story. Exactly, and I like to just keep it as serious you will see me when I'm at home, when you're stress-free, I love to just make it fun, right? Like be fun and yes. you, a little clown in me, right? You, yes, you about to see some stuff that you never thought because I know for many people, <laughs> Kenley on the field is very, very serious. You know, it's the beast coming out and then it's true. But in off season, um, he's very different. He's funny. He's sweet. He's sweet in the season too. But you know, I don't want to uh, mess with nobody in the <laughs> season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's not really talking. He's very focusing. In the off season, he work out too. Very focused. But I work out I even can... more in off season. Don't don't say that. I work out too. I work out even more in off season. More, yes. Yeah, thank you. And a lot every morning, every day. But in the off season, it's, it's my time. Yeah? Yeah. So get and, ready to enjoy. And I deserve that. So. Thank you, guys. Thank you. But. My cousin, what can we do for you? I'm going to go to the house.